guys, welcome back to BMW Fanatic. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to spot issues on your BMW N54 or even N55 before they come up as a check engine light or service engine light soon, utilizing the JB4. There are a lot of parameters that you can with logging that will show you early signs of failing items, so that way you can see them, spot them, replace the item, therefore you'll never see that check engine light or issue come up or it leave you stranded like if your fuel pump went out. I have the JB4 G5 ISO. I do have a JB4 back end flash, which I have loaded the pump version, uh, which smooths things out, targets more boost, shifts all fuel timing Vanos to the DME side up here, and the JB4 will retain its uh, boost control. In addition to that, I have the JB4 Bluetooth Connect Kit, which connects to the JB4 and the DME box here, transmits a Bluetooth signal, and then therefore I have the JB4 mobile app. Now I'm going to do a cold start so that way you can uh, see those pieces. We'll record what the JB4 is doing, and I'll show you some spots within the logging that you can do, uh, and some other cool features that you have. Now if you haven't seen any of my JB4 videos as far as how to use the JB4, what map to run, uh, how to data log, all those pieces, I'll drop all those videos in the description box below and I'll also link them up here at the top so that way you can better understand about what all the JB4 is about. I also did a video on the benefits of running a JB4 and a backend flash versus a flash only. Post that down in the description box below. So tons of great JB4 related videos to this topic as far as spotting issues. So that way you can go ahead and check that out. So let's go ahead and start her up and then we'll record some data and I could just talk you through it. Once you have the JB4 mobile app open, uh, the first two very important ones we're going to talk about is high pressure fuel pump, which is your top right. That 12 right there is at a cold start idle. If it's at a normal at 600 RPM idle, that should be five. Anything less than five, then you know you have a high pressure fuel pump issue. Low pressure fuel pump, bottom left, 65. That is normal at idle, can go up to 70. If you are wide open throttle and it's less than 50, you know you have a low pressure fuel pump that is on its way out and therefore you will need to replace it. Here you can check your codes to see what you have on here. Uh, if you have any, of course, really great to see on the fly. Going back to the display menu, you have your AFR1 and AFR2. Uh, these are really great because you know BMW is trying to target that 14.7 air to fuel ratio. Wide open throttle, you should be around 11 to 12 on both banks. Anything under just normal cruising, you could be around that 14.7. Looking at a log, so the log that we just did, and by the way, all those gauges that you saw, the six, you don't, you can choose whatever six that you want, and it's configurable to whatever you see on this CSV spreadsheet, which makes it nice because whatever you want to look at, you can go ahead and do. The CSV breaks it down during a timestamp, so I think it's every couple seconds, if that, or every half a second, it's going to take a timestamp as far as what your DME is communicating with the JB4, and therefore communicating back, uh, as you can see in the app. This makes things so much easier because then you can spot your issues, like, hey, I'm running a little lean on, on you know, bank one, or I'm running a little rich on bank two. This is where you'll easily see if you have injectors that are going bad, fuel pump, high pressure fuel pump. O2 sensors, uh, your transmission can be hot, getting hotter than normal, coolant temperatures can be going up a lot higher, therefore may not throw a code. And, and this is where you can physically see all those issues come about before you get a check engine light or a service engine light soon. Uh, going back out of it, uh, like I said, there's your water temp, which is very important, and your IETs, right? If you have an upgraded intercooler, you're going to want to make sure that you have the best IETs. Uh, that way you can, you know, have the most power for your BMW. Once you're done and seeing all that, you can just go ahead and exit out of the app and therefore go on with your merry way. This will auto log in the background. Well, there you have it. How to identify issues going on with your BMW N54 or even N55 by utilizing the JB4 before these issues come up. So your BMW's DME may not always throw that check engine light or service engine light soon right away. So utilizing that data from the JB4, 
you'll be able to spot those issues ahead of time. The data logging in general when driving wide open throttle is very useful as well. I got that video so you can check that out down below. But just normal, just sitting there at idle, you can still spot a lot of issues uh, that could be potentially coming up on your BMW N54 or even N55. Please be sure to subscribe, like, and then comment. Thanks again. See you soon.